Your wedding's your big day, and when you walk down the aisle, all eyes are on you. You probably want to lose some inches off the hips. I and mean, everyone's going to be standing there looking at you, and, you know, you've got fat hanging out everywhere. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. I can't do it up anymore. Hey, you got to suck it in. Meet Jamie. She can't zip up the only dress she's willing to wear, and there's just six weeks till the big day. This is looking really, really bad. Around the hips, it's so tight. I don't think I'm going to be able to sit down. Around the waist, it's just ridiculous. I can barely breathe. Pooch alert. Jamie's a little lumpy and bumpy around the waist and hips. She needs her help. Bad. I've been not very successful so far. <laughs> Tommy, you're a personal trainer. Oh my gosh. Judy Bowman, nutrition specialist. Hi. Need help? Yes, I, I do. Take this, it's your food diary. Keep track of everything you eat for one week. Don't leave anything out. And seeing as you can't do that up, I've got something that fits. This is your workout gear. If I don't get this dress up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Tommy and Nadine, I really hope you can help me. I've got a reputation to uphold, Jamie. I'm not gonna let you bring it down. God! Come on. Jamie is an artist who needs to paint herself a whole new lifestyle. The butter and the icing's not gonna get you in that dress. <laughs> If she doesn't want to be pictured, a bulging bride. Wait. How did it come to this? It won't go up anymore. Push it. I saw it and I had to have it and it didn't quite fit, but I just bought it anyway because it, it was perfect, it was the only one. I guess the flowers will look kind of cool in that. How many do we actually need? 24 of them? How about that? Yeah. I guess I have a lot of collecting to do, don't I? I guess so. There are definitely some points in like the planning that I've gone through that I've been up at night, I haven't been able to sleep. More bacon? Um, I'm gonna make a double there. When I'm stressed out, I like to eat. Early on in college, Jamie introduced me to bacon pickle sandwiches. Their favorite time to eat them is Definitely when we're coming home from the bar. I love food. So I started painting my favorite comfort foods, the steak, turkey, roast beef, uh, baked potatoes. I like to work with the oil paint in like a juicy, luscious manner. On my way to my studio, I'll stop in at my favorite bagel shop and I'll get extra cream cheese. And I'll, I love to eat that while I'm painting. It's just so creamy and great. And look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. I love that dress. There's no other dress. I have to fit into it. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Jamie, welcome to your Isle of Shame. We're going to take a look at some of your bad eating habits that your food diaries revealed. First platter along the way, this is the bread binge. Well, a lot of it's whole wheat. It's still way too much. This is one month of just your bread intake. Just bread. We're not talking about your pastas, your other grains, your rice, all that sort of stuff. You can't eat the same as your fiance. You're not the same size. Come on down to the next platter. Okay. Dubious diners. It's one week of your eating out habits and it represents 10,000 calories. Wow, that's a lot of calories. Did you know that each of these meals has at least 75 grams of fat in them? What? Yeah. Okay, that's really surprising. Let's take a look at the next platter. Okay. This is called gargantuan gourmet. One week of your gourmet cooking. You are loading up on sauces and just extra unnecessary additives. Your potatoes alone, you've got 350 calories in cheese and gravy that you've added on. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. I bet. I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what these bad eating habits have done to affect your body shape. Okay. This dress is everything. If I don't fit into it, then I'm gonna cry. Jamie, welcome to your shape analysis. You look a little nervous. Mm, I'm very nervous. Bust, 36 inches. Waist, 33. Okay, that doesn't sound so good. Hips, 41. 41. Wow. Weight, 100. 41 pounds. 141. 
How did it come to this? You're five foot three, dress size of 10, weighing in at 141 pounds. Your body type is a pear shape. Pears taste good, but I don't know if I want to look like one. So you're ready to make some changes? Yeah. Well, let's get a picture of how you look in the dress right now. OK. Jamie, this is our stylist, Jean. She'll help you into her dress. All right, this way. Oh, my goodness. Are you OK? Is it quite tight already? Mm -hmm. OK, guys, here we come. So, Jean, tell us what's going on with this dress. Well, I love this dress. It has a really lovely antique look to it. So Jamie is a pear shape, and that's causing the dress to ride up. It's creating these lines. It does not look good. It should just lightly skim across her body, and right now, it's clinging to her body. Well, you're not the biggest bride I've ever seen, but you carry your weight through your stomach and lower body. By losing some inches through your hips, butt, and legs, you're gonna be able to breathe, you're gonna move a lot better. Sound good? Yes. Do you vow to stick to your meal plan for the next six weeks, no cheating? No cheating. Do you vow to stick to your fitness plan for the next six weeks? Yes. In six weeks, we're gonna tone up Jamie's arms and melt inches from her lower body. There's no other dress. If this one doesn't fit, I'm, I'm going naked, I guess. Jamie, welcome to Tommy's Playground. Consider it your physical assessment. Ready to get started? Yeah. I don't want to do this. This can be fun. Come on, Jamie. It's a beautiful day. It doesn't look that great out. Come on, Bridie. Cardio-wise, Jamie is not that good. I made her pull me around in the forest for a little while. She got tired with that very Come quickly. On, I don't think she liked pulling in the first place. Ooh, we've worked hundreds of years to get away from this, and I'm just putting myself back into it. And women have worked close to 40 years to get into this one. Keep moving. <laughs> Maybe you have a commitment problem. Show your commitment. Show your commitment. You're getting married. Commitment's a big part of it. Jamie is not that strong at all. I made her try to hang and hold herself. She lasted about five seconds. Seeing as I can't get you to commit yet, it's time to meet in the middle. I like meeting halfway. That's perfect for me. You know, it's all about uh, committing to each other, not just me. This is the infidelity inhibitor. Full speed. The punching was fun. I just wish I could have got Tommy's face. Eight. Faster. Come on, Jamie. Stay with it, fast as you can. And one. There's gonna be a lot of things that you think you can't do. All right? Yeah. Set no limitations at all. So expect that for the next six weeks. Enjoy the rest of your day. There's gonna be six more weeks of this? I just hope I don't fall down and, and pass out. And if I do, hopefully I can get back up and be skinny. Tommy, whatever. Next, Jamie's behavior really takes the cake. Did you say you love me? I love you, I love you! I won't go up anymore. Push it. Bride-to-be Jamie is struggling to fit into her dress. Oh, no, I can't. But she needs to learn to say, I can, before she says, I do. I love that dress. There's no other dress. I have to fit into it. How you doing, Jamie? I'm OK. Many brides will gain between 10 and 20 pounds during the first five years of marriage. OK. So if that happens to you, take a look. Oh, my God. Well, it comes on slowly. But it, it doesn't have to be that way. Keep on looking. That looks nice. What are you prepared to do to make sure you don't look like option A? I'm prepared to work hard. Well, let's see how extremely hard looks. Follow me. You're going to jump, land on top of the BOSU, stay in a squat three seconds, come off to the side, jump up again. Come off to the other side. Because Jamie's not too big in the upper body, she's actually not too bad at all. Um, she just needs to tone up a little bit. Oh. Whatever it takes, right? Oh Hands up. <laughs> Butt down. Come on. I uh, introduced her a lot of different things on the stability ball and the BOSU, just to kind of give her a really good variety. Just think of how good this is going to look in that dress. Okay. It's really going to be imperative that she pushes herself extremely hard, uh, really has to go after the cardio, the core work. By doing full body exercises, you're going to burn a lot of calories. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it up through the whole period. Uh, I mean, I feel like I need an Epsom salt bath right now. I'm so sore already. Jamie, this is an example of how you're going to be eating. I don't see much bread here. 
No, you don't. Okay, let's start by talking about breakfast. You've got one serving of the plain oatmeal. Okay. Okay, and one serving of yogurt. That's gonna be the fat-free. One poached egg, five pecans, and you have your coffee with milk. For lunch, it's extra lean ground beef. You've got three ounces there. One tablespoon of sour cream, the low fat. <laughs> and just as many colorful veggies as you can find. It looks really nice. You know, it's excellent. And one small cup of salsa. Okay. So for dinner, you've got four ounces of fish. That's salmon. It could be tuna or whatnot. You've got one red pepper, half corn on the cob, and that's soy sauce. It could be any other sauce. One tablespoon only. And two tablespoons of vinaigrette dressing with two cups of salad. So I know that you have that cake tasting coming up. So here's a plan. Okay. You're gonna eat beforehand. Just have a nice big meal like one of these. Okay. And then you won't be hungry. And you can just have a tasting, which is just, you know, a bite. I think I can do that. Mini cake. Cheers. I made a little miniature version of the cake. It's what I'm giving all my guests. And if it doesn't taste good to me, then it won't taste good to them. I've got vodka, raspberry, and mint. I got the rhubarb with vodka. If I didn't even tell Nadine about my signature drink testing, I'm gonna have a few different uh, mojitos I'm gonna be working on, and those are gonna have to be tested with each kind of alcohol. Are you allowed to be drinking on your diet? Tommy, whatever. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Ladies, how was the cake? Mm, really good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> So I'm glad you guys had a great time last night, but I'm pretty sure the sugar, the fat, the alcohol are not in your meal plan. So get ready to burn it off. Go, bring it back. Coordination's a little off today, isn't it, ladies? Maybe a little. Every piece of cake that she has is gonna show. Alcohol, sugar, it's not gonna help her out. She needs that stomach flat so that dress looks great. You're going to your mojitos. Rhubarb mojito lunge curls. Those mojitos do look good. Those four liter jugs of mojitos were a little bit more painful than the nice small glasses that I was drinking last night. Drop your mojitos. Oh my gosh. Pick up your fat. You liked that cake, didn't you? Because she is smaller and knows she doesn't have that much to lose, I think sometimes she takes it for granted. I've got a reputation to uphold, Jamie. I'm not gonna let you bring it down. Hey, you. Come on, let's go. Did you say you love me? I hate you. Did you say you love me? No. Did you say you love me? I love you, I love you. Oh, God. Takes you a while. Don't make me have to do this again. Tommy really kicked my butt today, and the chocolate frosting was good on the uh, tongue, but not so good today. So I finally finished the slideshow. Next, fiance Lionel lends a hand with the wedding plans. I'll do all the pictures, OK? As if I'm not busy enough as it is. Jamie's baking led her into temptation, and her payback was no cakewalk. You say you love me? Tommy is nuts. I'm stressed to the max. <laughs> Jamie, three-week weigh-in. Let's get started. Bust, 34 inches. You've lost two inches. Oh my gosh. Waist, 31. Oh, down two inches. Really? Mm-hmm. Be together. Hips, 38. You've lost three inches off your hips. Oh my gosh. Let's get you up on the scale. Okay. Weight, 100. 34 pounds. Jamie, you've lost seven pounds. To make sure that you don't get too comfortable where you are right now, remember this. Oh my gosh. That looks awful. So, three weeks left. We've still got a long way to go. Okay. Next, we're gonna send you off to Jean. You're gonna go shopping. I heard you're going surfing. Yes. All right, bathing suit time. So, Jamie, I heard that you're going on a surfing honeymoon. Probably need a pair of shorts and a bikini. That would be perfect. Cool. Let's look and try some stuff on. Okay. The white shorts that Jamie tried on were really cute. There's a really cute patchwork detail on it. Uh, but the length, I think, was a bit of an awkward length. It was kind of a Bermuda style, which is hard if you're a petite pear shape. Uh, it's gonna cut her off and make her legs look even shorter. I like the short shorts. Yeah, maybe I should try another pair of those. Yeah. The bandeau style looks really cute on Jamie. 
Like, how do you stand when you surf? Um, it's like, like really low? And how does that feel? Actually, it's really tight right here. I can see that it's really bunching up there. It doesn't seem super comfortable. Maybe oh. this isn't the one. Okay. Yeah. Let's try on another one. I love the bikini and the pair of shorts that Jamie went with. When your shorts are cut sort of at a mid-thigh level, it's perfect if you have shorter legs and if you're pear-shaped, it sort of elongates the figure, makes your legs look longer than they actually are. I love this one. Cool. Let's get it. All right. Hey, babe. So I finally finished the slideshow. If you want to check it out. OK. Awesome. It's only 11 days to the wedding, and uh, I was a little worried that he wouldn't have it done in time. I was so happy when I saw him and he came in and said that he had the slideshow ready. Oh my god, where did you find that picture? Just had to do a little bit of digging. Uh-oh, I don't know if we want to show that one. Oh my gosh, I'm so fat. I am like stressed to the max. It's totally up to here. Not here, here. I have so much to do. I think that we need to redo it, please. OK, well, you can find the pictures. Fine. I'll do all the pictures, OK? Because if I'm not busy enough as it is, not to mention all I'm eating is lettuce. Lettuce and chicken and lettuce. <laughs> lettuce. Don't let me break my ankle before the wedding. Next, Jamie shows Lionel how far she's come. And the final results. Wait. Artist Jamie has been working hard to look picture perfect in her wedding dress. You know, I really hope it all pays off because I'm putting everything I've got into this. Now, Lionel gets in on the action. Jamie, Lionel, today's your partner challenge. Now, your fiance here has been working very hard, but today is going to be a real challenge. We've got a hike and a special surprise at the end of it. It's going to be some rough terrain, some inclines. You ready? I think so. Good. Let's go. Come on, Jayli. Woo! <laughs> Lionel's a runner. All throughout our workouts, Jamie's main goal was to keep up with Lionel so they can do more things together. Oh. You're doing great, babe. Don't let me break my ankle before the wedding. Go pick up the speed. Let's go. See, now I know what I went through. It was a little bit more difficult than on the road because there was a lot of different obstacles to run over. Awesome. When we got out onto the beach, we saw those packs. I was super excited. I thought we were already done when we got there, but I mean, that was still pretty cool. Yeah. Think about the dress, Jamie! How are you holding up there, babe? Oh my god, this is hard. Not too much farther to go, at least. Mission accomplished, team. Thank you. Thanks. You guys worked as a team. I mean, you push each other along. You helped each other along. And uh, that's going to go a long way in your marriage. So congratulations to the two of you. Thank you very much. All right. I've been really amazed with uh, Jamie's progress over the last six weeks. She's come a long ways before, you know. She didn't really even like to run or anything. And today, she was just flying through the forest, just kicking my butt. It was, like, awesome. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Final weigh-in time. Let's go. Bust. 34 inches. Down two inches. That's awesome. And for the ever-shrinking waist, 29. Wow. Down four inches. I have a 29-inch waist. Oh, yeah. Hips. 37. Jamie, you're down four inches off your hips. Oh my gosh. 10 inches total. Let's see what the weight is. Up on the scale. Weight, 128 pounds. Down 13 pounds. Oh my gosh. Nice one. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. I well, never thought I'd get below 130. Well, you are. Now it's time to really excite us. Let's get you in that dress. I can't wait. Well, Jamie, looks good so far. Are you ready for the zip up? Yes, I'm ready. You're in, just like that. To surprise Jamie, I invited a couple of her friends to see how she looks in the dress now. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys are here. <laughs> 
Well, remember when we first tried on the dress? It was really tight in the waist and the hips. It was causing the dress to sort of ride up. It was creating these lines. And now the dress just sort of skims over her body as it should. It looks absolutely stunning. So really hard dress to pull off and you did it. Congratulations. Thank you, Jean. I can't even believe how much room I have in my waist and my hips now. Um, it's so comfortable. It's not pulling anywhere. I can just glide down that aisle. I'm so happy. Now that she fits it well, she can show it off. She looks like old Hollywood movie star. Just beautiful. I'm really proud of everything that Jamie accomplished over the last six weeks. She just really pushed herself. And you know what? She just came to work, and it shows. Jamie worked extra hard and lost 13 pounds and 10 inches. She looks gorgeous in her dress, showing off her new slimmer figure. This whole experience has been so excellent for me. I worked really, really hard. I did everything Tommy told me to. I really stuck to my meal plan. I enjoyed it. And I can't wait to come back from my honeymoon and continue with what I'm doing.